this is my pal Rogan. And we're a team that has learned lots of things together, so we want to show you how we have done that. Rogan, today we're going to work on sit. Is that okay? Good boy. So sit is something easy to teach a dog, and we don't use force at all. What we do is, of course, our dog will be in a standing position. We're going to use treats that are easy to chew. This is not his dinner. Keep them tiny. And we're going to actually give the dog the treat by putting it up over his head. And you'll see he'll either lean back or step back, but the tail will eventually drop. And it's that dropping that we want to reinforce. When we begin, we don't care if it touches the ground. We just want them to lean back into it. So I have to tell Rogan to stand because he's already sitting. So stand, stand, sit. Whoops, let me do that again. I gotta do this correctly for you here. Stand. Yes. Stand. Yes. Now the yes is my marker word. It means he's doing what I want. And is what I want is for that butt to start going down. Once you can do that easily, eight out of ten times, then we can start introducing the word. So we're going to stand again. Stand. Hold it. Sit. Yes. You saw his feet come off the ground. That was because my treat delivery was slow. We're going to stand. Back up. Stand. Sit. Yes, good dog. We're going to stand, sit. Yes, good dog. Eight out of ten times, and you've got the first step done. The next step is adding to it a hand signal. This is the universal signal, as far as I know, for a dog to sit. And we're going to pair it with a verbal cue. We're going to stand, sit. Good dog. Stand, stand, back up, stand, sit. When that happens eight out of ten times, you can now drop the verbal cue and just use the hand signal. Will you back up? Stand. Good dog. Stand. that cue uh, with a verbal. You can use it by itself. Um, and sometimes that's handy. We're going to stand. Stand. Good. So those are different ways to get your dog to sit and how to introduce the cue. The behavior comes first. The cue, the word sit, comes second. You want to reinforce those in a quiet space that's familiar, in your kitchen, in the living room, in a bedroom. But don't move it quickly from one room to another. That's very hard for a dog. It's like a whole new cue for them by changing rooms because the room becomes the distraction. So practice that. We want eight out of ten times. No dog is perfect. Eight out of ten times is excellent. Thank you for watching this lesson on sitting. I'm sitting with Rogan and I we're at the Norwich Academy where all dogs learn. Good boy, Rogan.